Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Behind me, a split level, north facing, six bedroom, six bathroom home that is perfect for families of all occasions. Bordering the South Down Dairy Farm and a beautiful green belt, this is the South Down Estate. Come with me as we tour this 23 million rand home all across its 1,780 meters squared. My name is Chad Viveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are finally within this home right here in South Downs Estate. This is the first home we've ever showcased within this estate. And I think the first word that comes to mind walking in here is coziness. And you'll see that as we tour this home. Coming through the front door on my right hand side is a cloakroom as well as your guest bathroom. So it's perfectly situated for your guests to utilize it. Wall within the living areas that guest bathroom has a single vanity as well as toilet and is quite private. Now coming into the house a little bit we've got this here, this divider that separates the entryway to one of the sitting areas. It's got this beautiful slab of wood on top and then all of this exposed stone. But my favorite bit of this is it's got a fireplace right in it that is shared not only by the walkway but by the sitting area as well. So it's something you can appreciate the moment you walk into this home. And we're going to kick off right here in these living areas. We leave the stone flooring behind for this beautiful warm wood. And as I mentioned, coziness and warmth is the name of this house. I think most of the design elements really foster that feeling. In the sitting area right here, you've got this beautiful chandelier hanging above us and then a vaulted ceiling with stunning lighting elements all the way across the base. So it makes the whole house feel quite warm. We're in the winter time right now, we're going into the winter time and you can start feeling that bite in the air and just walking through this house. Not only does it carry quite a nice temperature, but you feel warm, you feel cozy, you feel safe. And those are the three features you definitely want in a home, specifically a family home. Then moving ahead a bit, we come to the kitchen as well as where you'd be eating a lot of your breakfast with family, specifically when you want nice cozy ones. Up above this table, we've got a mirroring chandelier, just like what we saw there in that sitting area. And then off to my left is a staircase that we'll talk about as we walk past it, because right now, let's focus on this kitchen. The ceiling comes down a bit again, fostering that feeling of comfort and warmth. We've got a massive center island with this beautiful Caesar Stone countertop, under counter storage, wrapping all the way around. And then right over here, we've got a farmer style chef sink with a faucet as well as water purifier. And the faucet's got all those nice features that makes cleaning up really, really easy. And then off to my left hand side, you've got a freestanding oven with a five top gas burner extractor fan built into this very, very pretty bulkhead and very solid, I must add. And then just off to my left here, you've got a passageway that heads off to your garage slash laundry area. And then straight ahead is your scullery. And now the scullery comes with all the trappings we've seen before. A double sink space under counter for all of your appliances, as well as space for your microwave. And then plenty of storage for all your dry goods. Now the hallway behind me that I mentioned earlier, I said it goes off to your garage. It does, but also leads off to some bedrooms as well as your very own cinema slash TV room and we're going to leave that for closer to last so stay tuned for that. Rounding off the kitchen however is this right here a double door fridge that's hidden behind really nicely decorated cupboards that matches the rest that we see in the kitchen and now it's time to talk about where you'd go to be eating all the lovely food you're going to be whipping up but as I pass the staircase let me talk about it since it comes with some pretty cool features or at least really well thought out features. The whole staircase is decked out in gorgeous dark wood. We've got storage here, but we've got display cabinetry on this side as well as on the left hand side. So you can put up your favorite pieces of art, your favorite collections of baubles from traveling. I really like that they've turned the staircase not only into something functional, but something very artistic as well. The staircase leads all the way down to your downstairs patio and we're gonna be headed there as soon as we've wrapped up this living room area. And this brings us right here to the dining room area. A 10 seater ultra wide table fits in with ease and it's bordered by L shaped sliding glass doors and an L shaped balcony or really more a wrap around balcony looking down onto that green belt. 
the balcony is bordered by stainless steel and frameless glass because it's all about those views. We've got a corner plot here, so you're not gonna be bothered by your neighbors. Privacy is not an issue. It's about enjoying nature, the sights, the sounds, and the smells. I believe that is why this estate is so sought after. But coming back to this dining room area, well, we've got that chandelier, we've got the beautiful lighting, but we've also got speakers built into the wall if you are entertaining guests. You've got that central sound system that can pipe music to whatever room you want it. But when you're done eating, it's a short trip right of here your informal sitting room area, the place for you to sit down, relax, kick up your feet, and enjoy this incredibly smoldering fireplace in the middle of winter, hot chocolate in hand, and it's built into one of those feature walls, a repeat of what we saw in the entrance, exposed rock, and then this right here, a railroad sleeper, really big hefty chunk of wood rounding out the modern but still country home feel of this house. I love the flooring, but I also really like that you do have access to the balcony. You've got this massive window inset letting you enjoy nature. It is framed like a piece of art because as I did mention, corner house, no neighbors bothering you. You really get to sit back, relax and enjoy yourself. We've now wrapped up the majority of the upstairs section, not all of it, so we are going to return here to take a look at some of the bedrooms. But because we are going after the bedrooms, it's time for us to take a walk down this set of stairs and enjoy the view once again. Follow me. And here we are downstairs taking a look at what's in store for us here. Yeah? Behind me is your very own flat lit or a bed sit as we've come to realize they've called before in previous episodes. On my right hand side we've got full glass doors opening them up onto what is supposed to be a wine cellar. So you've got that exposed rock wall, beautiful lighting that arcs both up and down. So if you're a big connoisseur of wine, whiskey, or you want to make the coolest bar that South Downs has ever seen, this is the place for you. Let your imagination run wild. But to achieve something like that, we've got to work really, really hard. And that work is going to be done over here. This here is your very own private office. And it reminds me of an office maybe an admiral or a commodore would have in his ship in the old days. Take a look at this wood wall to wall, including the ceiling chandelier that is made purely out of wrought iron. It is incredibly cool. It has two glass doors leading out onto a sparkling blue pool and the rest of your grounds. And then it's got all the space, not only for quite a bit of alcohol, I must admit, for people who are working, but storage cabinets, display cabinets, places for picture frames, maybe even a place for a TV or even a coffee station. It's one of the coolest offices in my humble opinion I think that I've ever seen. I love the feel, the decor, the overall vibe of this office. It is really nice. It also does have one more door leading out onto your patio area where maybe if you're leaving the office to go sit with a family, that would be very, very welcome. You don't have to walk all the way around the house. Now, however, it's time for us to take a look at that bed sit. What does it look like and what does it feel like if you're a guest in a home like this? Coming through this door and a solid door, I must admit, all the doors in this home are, you've got a fully enclosed area here for your guests. This here would be your kitchenette, under counter storage, space for a fridge, you've got all the plug points you might need, space for a microwave as well, and then a small sink right over here. Moving forward a bit, space for a coffee section, and then built-in cupboards all the way leading off to the wall, this being your walk-in closet. And now, as per usual, walk-in closets always do lead to bathrooms. Let's check it out. And this here would be the bathroom this bed sit has. It's got all the trappings you need, toilet, single vanity, freestanding bath, and a spacious bath at that. Frosted windows still letting in light, and quite a large walk-in shower framed all by glass. I love the flooring, we don't see it often enough, nor do we see mirrors this big as they almost span the wall. So for a single bedroom and its own bathroom, this is quite, quite, a comfortable place to be. Now, however, it's time to take a look at the bedroom. Just around the corner. And here it is, the bedroom of this bed sit. You've got a king bed that fits in here quite comfortably. Two vanities that aren't touching the wall, so space is definitely not an issue. A fan above, and then still space for a TV. You've got plug points on the wall, and even this right here, 
a armchair as well as ottoman. But what really rounds of this area is this right in front of me. And rounding off this bedroom are the sliding glass doors that open up onto the front deck. Now, this deck runs the length of the house and incorporates a couple of really cool features. You've got more sliding glass doors here that lead out onto the office. And then this sparkling blue pool, perfect for a morning, evening or even afternoon workout routine doing some laps. And it is quite spacious, running almost the length of the deck. Heading into your patio, you'll see two ceiling speakers, beautiful down lighting as well as speakers positioned in the ceiling, perfect for any of your outdoor activities, specifically entertainment. You'll also find on the far side, you've got your prep area here, your chef sink, an undercounter storage, and then on the far left hand side, you've got your bra area as well. So you can take this space and make it your own, decorate it however you see fit because it can be perfectly utilized because of its shape and also because of its facilities. However, if under ceiling isn't what you're looking for, if you want something a little bit more open, a little bit more spacious, or maybe a place for you to enjoy the airiness and brightness that comes with living on two green belts. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Taking a quick step off the deck, you get to appreciate the gardens, but also you get to appreciate the fact that this fire pit right over here, not only is it sunken, but it borders both the dairy farm as well as a green belt behind me. So you've got nothing but nature surrounding you both within the property and externally. And then you've got two sets of stairs that you can choose between deciding how to get back up to the top level of this home. The first set of stairs is located right there by the prep area of your patio and the other set of stairs is this right here. So we're going to go back up to the top level and then take a look at what the bedrooms in this incredible home look like. And now it's time for us to explore the movie theater and the top level of this home. Follow me. Hidden behind the kitchen is this very cozy and very inviting area that also does have access to the outside through this sliding door that you see over here. But the reason why I say it's inviting or at least quite special is because of this. This sliding door hides away your very own movie theater. Eight reclining chairs with cup holders as well as tray tables just in case you want that movie snack. We've got storage cupboards as well as a coffee area here. And then right in front of me a TV, depending on how hectic you want your movie nights to be. Because if you're going for the full blown experience, don't worry, there's a projector as well as a pull down projector screen. You've got bulkhead lighting as well as six speakers in the ceiling giving that oomph to no matter what movie you watch. But when movie time is over and you want to go enjoy a nice nap, well, there are three bedrooms located on this wing of the house. The first is down that set of stairs. The other two is up these sets of stairs. So let's go explore this one first. And here is the bedroom on the far corner of the house warm, spacious, everything that we've seen so far in this home. You've got a built-in heater in the corner here. Unfortunately, this bedroom does not come with one of those incredible fireplaces that we've seen so far. And then we've got all of these windows here, floor to ceiling with privacy shutters as well. And what those privacy shutters are, are these slatted pieces of wood you see. They're all on rails and you can move them depending on how much light or should I say privacy you might want. Obviously curtain railings, plenty of light, and this room shapes all the way into this over here, which is your walk-in closet or could even be your office area. You've got cupboard space, a nook either to get ready or for you to turn into a coffee area. You've got speakers built into the ceiling and just behind me, that is also your ensuite bathroom. It's got a single toilet, single vanity, and then walk-in shower, really well equipped. But again, my favorite thing has to be this right here. The corner of the room opens right up, letting you enjoy nature. Both of these doors slide open. You can go out into the garden, explore the fire pit, or just really have a nice breeze during the summertime. I know now in winter, it's maybe not ideal, but I'm sure this home in the summer is just as nice, cozy, and inviting as it is during the winter. Now with the first bedroom out the way, two others remain. Let's take a look at what's waiting for us up these stairs.
Coming up the stairs, you'll see two rooms that are currently made up as recreational rooms. The first one being an office and the second one being a fun activities rooms. But both of these make perfect bedrooms. This one here has plenty of cupboard space, sliding glass doors, letting in a lot of light as well as air. And again, those privacy shutters on the other side. It also has an ensuite bathroom. That ensuite bathroom comes equipped with a toilet, single vanity and walk-in shower, as well as a heated towel rack. Across the hallway, however, things open up and become even more spacious and grand. This one has sliding glass doors that open up onto your very own private balcony overlooking the dairy farm as well as those green belts. Two more windows on the adjacent wall. We've got plenty of down lighting with a trestled roof and then also air conditioning. This room again comes with its very own ensuite bathroom. You've got a single vanity, toilet, freestanding bathtub and shower as well as one of those heated towel racks. And now that we've wrapped up the top story of this home and these two bedrooms, it's time for us to head back down the stairs and back into the kitchen so we can show you the remaining two bedrooms of this house. Follow me. Here it is, the last bedroom we showcase before we show you the master suite. And this bedroom brings spacious to another level. We've got a massive fan sitting front and center on the ceiling, flanked by two speakers that connect to your home entertainment system. We can see four beds sitting here beyond comfortably, but there's also a couple of really cool features. One are these built-in seats just underneath your windows. There's one on this side and on the other side of the house and then all of the storage here. So if you do have a big family, this home caters to them with ease. This also has one of my favorite fireplaces I've ever seen. Fully enclosed wrought iron fireplace with a smokestack heading all the way out. And it is one of the larger ones we've seen. I can only imagine how nice and toasty it must get in this room during the winter months. Behind me, that's your walk-in closet as well as two separate bathrooms. On my right hand side, you've got your toilet and one vanity. And on my left hand side, a shower and another vanity catering to a family of whatever size. Now, however, it is time for us to finally look at the master suite. So come with me and let's check it out. And here we are in the master suite of this incredible 23 million rand home. Coming through the door, beautiful wood flooring that we've seen already, but you walk immediately into your walk-in closet. So we've got cupboard space all the way around me, but right in front of me, there's also a dressing area there between the two cupboards with a backlit mirror. So if you are into getting ready or you do need a place to do so, you've got it right here in your walk-in closet. To my left, behind a frosted door, that there is your master suite's ensuite bathroom, and we're gonna check that out next. Walking into the bathroom, you've got a double vanity on the left-hand side, under counter storage with a stunningly large mirror just above it. And then further into the bathroom, right there is a freestanding pebble-shaped bath, massive, inviting, perfect for a home this cozy. You've also got a fully enclosed shower, and then, toilet as well behind a frosted glass door. This has not only a toilet, but also a bidet covering all the bases. It's now, however, time to take a look at what the bedroom part of this master suite looks like. Leaving all of that behind us, we come to the meat and potatoes of this bedroom, and it is stunning. We see another one of those fully enclosed wrought iron fireplaces right here, although I have to admit it's probably even larger Really nice, really inviting. I love these in bedrooms. I think it must be so cool to hear them crackle while sitting in bed or watching a movie together. You've also got space over here with a slatted mirror just above it for you to put maybe some couches, a table, a place for you to enjoy a morning coffee while looking out through those sliding doors. So it is quite a spacious bedroom. The roof has dropped down a bit, making it feel more cozy where the roof in the walk-in closet and bathroom is much higher. But again, the killer feature always has to be the view and that view is right here. On this corner, we've got two glass doors that open all the way out, 
letting you look down onto your garden and also enjoy that green belt. But if you're worried about the sun shining in this room, making it too hot, or if privacy is a concern, but you don't want to get rid of the view entirely, well, the owners or at least the designers have thought of that. You've got these slatted sliding pieces that slide in front of the windows, letting in just enough light and letting you look out just enough while still making privacy top of mind. This, however, brings us to the end of this incredible tour. So join me as I walk just around onto the balcony and we can talk about how you can become the next owner of this stunning home right here in Centurion. Unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of this incredible home tour, but let's recap what we've seen so far. Six bedrooms, six bathrooms, a two-car garage, incredible open spaces outside bordering two green belts, and then inside featured walls made out of stunning stone, incredible flooring, and the rooms that make you feel special regardless of which one you're in, all on the market for 23 million rand. Now, this property is part of the Remax collection, but if you'd like to become its next owner, what I'd like you to do is contact Fricky from Remax Advantage. All of his details will be below in the link supplied and make sure to do it fast because I think a property like this in an estate like this is gonna move very, very fast. But also be sure not to miss out on any other Home Shopper Show episodes. They air every single Friday on Facebook, but follow us on Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram, so you don't miss some of South Africa's most incredible homes. Also, remember you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. But from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time right here. Goodbye.